quick update everybody on the Sandrick Cemetery new sign for 2019 Halloween hope everyone is doing well and building good stuff uh, basic foam board router carved out Sandrick Cemetery numerous patterns different fonts and I had this my father gives me scraps of different materials so I could use them for things and I thought that looked different. I think it's tin. I got some nails through it. I'm gonna use some caulk or some spray foam to connect it to the board after I paint it. Uh, I'm not sure what colors to paint. I was thinking about going either white with black lettering or a dark gray with white lettering. So this is where I need your opinion. What do you think looks would look better. White board with black lettering or gray with white lettering? Let me know. Comments below. And the post I had, I believe they were six feet tall, PVC, two inch width. Got the caps. I'll put the sign between those and then to support the sign to the PVC I have three-fourth of an inch PVC that uh, I will show you in one second. There's a three-fourth inch PVC that I'm planning to put on the back of the sign. I melted the ends, measured the width, and I plan to spray foam these two I have two pieces on the back of the sign there with some spray foam and then use four areas for the contact and joins probably with just some you know, wood or deck screws into the PVC post. So roughly it will look like this. Of course it won't be rolling but when I connect it the sign will be to the 3 4 inch PVC and this will be the back of it and I'll just screw them right into the 4 inch PVC post more to come and then using the router I went along the edges here and gave the top as you can see there as it focuses and the bottom kind of a rounded edge kind of hit the foam a little too hard there but I think it gives it a good effect as you can see, just the top and bottom because the sides I need to keep square and flat they would go against the PVC. But I figured to give the top and bottom kind of a nice little round effect. Man, that was annoying. What's up, everybody? Dave, coming from Sandrick Cemetery. Uh, in between my creature prop and some other things, I've been doing some miscellaneous builds. You've probably seen this in the background of my videos. I had this arm. A sleeve came from another prop years ago. Pool noodle. I had this hand I created by accident using spray foam when I was doing my Susie, my static zombie. So I put a little more foam on it and did some dry brushing painting. And it looks like some gnarly hand. So attach that to the sleeve, pull noodle, and piece of half inch PVC, and I had this motor, got these off of Amazon, if anybody knows what, they're like deer motors, but they're not in the plastic casing, they're only like five or six bucks a piece, so if you want to know what these are, let me know, I can put a link in the uh, video information down below, but like I said, it's basically a deer motor, and I put this metal hook here, screwed that to the wood base. Basically all that does is keep the PVC in place without going constantly around. And as you can see here, bolted it to the motor and put a lock washer here. And then basically I got a hole here I'm going to put another hole here so I can stake it to the ground. 
And I think I'm going to have it underneath of opening the tombstone or something. I'm not sure yet, but this is what it'll look like. Let me plug it in real quick and hold the base. Basically, it looks like an arm's you know, going across the ground and then reaching out and moving across. And you see it's pretty basic here. And I left a little slack there with the washer and the bolt and nut so it can move up when it goes over like that. So that's that. Basically, I just attach the wiring from this splice the wire to some leftover extension cord I had off of Christmas lights. I always keep extension cords and cords and cut them so I can use the wires for, you know, stuff like this. So that's that. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you haven't. See ya.